this table this time. We go to Victory Brewing, to Schmaltz, to Thomas Creek, so we know exactly what's the most efficient path to take to go from point A to point B and get the most beer at the same time. But I don't have my map, so I can't plan. So what are your thoughts on that? Beer. me going every day. I'm about to get going right now. I, I just want to say that I think uh, the Southeast is amazing these days with craft beer. Um, like I said, the craft beer culture has really uh, just blown up in this country. And the Southeast right now is where it's at. There's a lot of focus right now on the breweries that are coming out of South Carolina, North Carolina, and we're just really happy to be a part of it. Thomas Creek is the biggest brewery in South Carolina, and um, we hope to I don't know, maybe go national one day, but uh, for now, we're just really excited to be part of the whole craft beer revolution. Now, now, do you guys drink mainly craft beers, or do you see yourself, you know, Bud Light every now and then? Well, I gotta, always got to try something different at Greens or at uh, Earth Fair, something like that. Yeah. It's always got to try. I'll tell you what, it, it always depends on how much money's in the wallet at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got the money to drink the craft beer, then you definitely do. If not, you got to go with the Bud Light. Especially I mean, on a long, long week, it's always good to have a nice beer that's yeah. better than the normal light and the Coors Light and all that. That came here this morning about 8 o'clock, we set everything up, and then somebody's like, hey, do you have any trouble walking around in public in a crazy outfit and making an ass of yourself? And I was like, no, I do that all the time. Well, that's great for us because it makes for a great interview. Um, what are you drinking today? Uh, right now, I think this was uh, the three months, uh, the triple. Three months, it kind of fits well. It, it worked quite well for me, yeah. Well, what does beer mean to you? What does beer mean to me? Beer, beer is, it's, it's a combination of romance, it's art, it's adventure, it's history, it's culture, it's food. It's, it's, a, it's a way of life. Exactly. I mean, it's what I've been doing for 30 years. It's beer, beer has been my life. It's so exciting because there's such a wide range of diversity that, you know, anybody can find a beer to fall in love with and stay in love with forever. Exactly. Exactly. Do you remember your first beer? Yeah, I was 14. It was a Miller High Life. I stole it from my mother. I drank it out behind the barn. It was awful. But I was 14. What can I say? Exactly. Now, the first beer that changed my mind was a pint of Cascale in 1981 in a small pub in Covent Gardens, London. The next day, I had a pint of perfectly drawn Guinness from the Irish district, Kilburn. Those two started the whole thing for me. Really? And, and how did that grow into what you do today? Well, we should probably take a break so the cameraman can have a beer too. E exactly, exactly, exactly. do real well in the southern markets. We just entered uh, not too long ago Virginia and some of Pennsylvania, so kind of branching out and therefore the brewery's looking to kind of expand, get some more tanks. I, I really enjoy the uh, the milk stout. There's actually one place in Augusta that you can get it on tap of that I found so far, uh, a little bar called Helga's. And, and uh, Mark, the cameraman, and I go in there and enjoy one every once in a while. This happens to be Mark's favorite beer, and I know it's really bothering him that uh, he's had to stand here and film this whole time. So so I think we should enjoy a great, great beer. 
Absolutely. Thank you very much. Tell us a little about your brewery. Well, we were founded in 1993. We're the oldest continuously operating craft brewery in Georgia. Uh, we make a great catalog of beers. Got them all here today. Um, four beers this year coming out. The first one is a, it's called our 16th anniversary ale. It's a double brown, so an imperial brown ale, aged in Jack Daniels barrels for 10 months. The second one is our first attempt at a double IPA. And let me tell you, I've tried all the batches. They are delicious. The next one is a smoked vanilla gorilla. That's our porter, barrel aged with vanilla beans, and we're smoking the beans and we're smoking the beer. And the last one is the brewer's own personal creation, looking at about a 10% old stock ale. I think our favorite right now, uh, my favorite is the um, nectar, the bee nectar. The bee nectar. Bee nectar. It was the vanilla cinnamon beer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It, it, was it real pronounced in there? Or it was, was it? actually. We tried their pineapple. Um, it was a pineapple coconut, coconut beer, and it wasn't very good, but their cinnamon vanilla. vanilla, you could smell it, it was very good. We love the uh, uh, banana bread, is that what it was called? Uh, banana bread and double chocolate. <laughs>